Good evening. It would be really nice at some point if it ever stopped raining, don't you think? So tonight we're going to look at some linear equations and um, we're going to look at how to clean them up before we're going to uh, continue on with the systems of equations here, okay? Because we're going to learn several different methods on how to find those intersections, whether they have one or not. Um, but when we look at these, um, these are linear equations, but they're not quite in standard form because of the fractions. Um, and fractions and decimals are always sort of messy to deal with. So before we start solving for systems of equations, we need to clean up our equations first. So we're going to look at this first one here. You can see that they both have a denominator of 2. So what we'd really like is that to have whole numbers here and not a denominator. So this is 1 divided by 2 and 3 divided by 2. They are fractions, but fractions are division. So as we've talked about the inverse, the inverse of dividing by 2 here would be to multiply each one by 2. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to rewrite this here. 1 half x plus 3 halves y equals 4. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to multiply each one by 2. Okay, I'm going to multiply that one by 2. I'm going to multiply this by 2. And this is a 4. Everything gets multiplied by 2. Once you do to 1, what you have to do to all of them. Okay? So this, you can think of two different ways. 2 times a half. So that's 2 over 1. Remember, with multiplication, we multiply straight across. So it would be 2 over 2 or 1. Or you can think about, we can just cross-cancel these. So then 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 2 once, and that just becomes 1x, or just x. Same thing's going to happen here. We have 2 over 1. That's a 3. So 2 goes into 2 one time. And so that's 1 times 3 is 3. We'll bring our plus down here. And then um, 1 over 1 is just 1. So we can just put that as 3y equals 4 times 2 is 8. So we took this messy fraction, a half x plus 3 half y equals 4, and we changed it into x plus 3y equals 8, which is a much easier equation to deal with. So we're going to look at this one now also. So this is 2 thirds x, oops, that's not minus, that's plus, minus 1 third y equals 7. So again, I'm going to apply the same concept up here. That's 2 divided by 3. That's 1 divided by 3. So the opposite of dividing by 3 would be to multiply each side by 3. So I'm going to times this by 3. I'm going to times this by 3. And i got to times that 7 by 3. So again, these can cross out because 3 goes into 3 once. And this will give you 2x minus, again, 3 over 3. 3 goes into 3 one time. So this becomes 1y, or just y, and then, then we have 7 times 3, which is 21. So now we took this equation, and we've made them into two very nice equations here. And tomorrow we're going to look at what we do after we get to this point here. Okay? So that this changed into this one, and this one changed into this one. We have nice whole numbers to deal with here. Okay? So I would like for you to try this one. Okay, that's 1 divided by 2 and 1 divided by 4. So you'll have to figure out what you multiply each one by to get the 2 and 4 to go away. And then this one's all set. You don't need to do anything with that. Okay, so let's look down to the bottom one. The bottom one we have messy decimals also. Okay, hopefully my head wasn't in the way on that. Okay, so I look at this and again we've got decimals and this is to the tenths place. This is to the tenths place. So I'm going to rewrite that down here. So you might think, well, what can I do to uh, make this decimal go away? Well, if it's in the tenths place, we should be multiplying each one by 10. Because that 0 here will make this move over one place, right? So if you do 0.4 times 10, right, we get 40, and there's one decimal place, you move it over, it gives you 4. 
So this will change it to 4x. This will change it to 3y equals 10. Okay? So we change this nasty one into a nice 4x plus 3y equals 10. Now we're going to look at the next one. We have 0.1y equals 0.2x. So the first thing we want to do, um, actually we could just leave it like this, um, but again we want to get the decimals back to um, whole numbers. So again that's to the tenths place and that's to the tenths place. So I'm going to multiply this one by 10. Ugh, that looks terrible. Come on pen. Let's try again. Come on, 10. All right, so what was that? That was 0.1y, and that equals, okay? So we're going to times this one by 10 and times this by 10. So then 0.1 times 10 gives you 1y, or just y, and 0.2x times 10 will give you 2x. So again, we have two nice equations now that we're going to do some math with later, but the first step is to making them look nice. So I want you to do this one on your own. Hopefully my head's not in the way. And you might think about these two are going to be different, and hopefully you know what place value this is, because that's going to indicate what you have to multiply by, right? All right, nice and short, six minutes. Hope you appreciate it. And hopefully we'll be dry tomorrow. Good night, Corey.